Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got a very short video on a super important topic to talk about that came from San Diego Comic Con. Now, a Reddit user by the name of GeekGamerGirl117 was at San Diego Comic Con. And at San Diego Comic Con, there is a Dark Horse panel. And Dark Horse, if you're not aware, are the publishing company behind Halo Escalation and are also behind Tales from Six Beast. So they pretty much publish most of the Halo comics. And at this panel, Frank O'Connor was speaking about his story in Tales from Six Beast. So if you aren't aware, he's going to be having a short story in that novel. He said that not only is his story finished, but it's going to be explaining how Cortana survived Halo 4 and how she made contact with the Domain. So this, if you can't tell by my tone, is absolutely huge. Something happened in between the ending of Cortana's story in Halo 4 and the beginning of it in Halo 5 for her to completely 180 on her views and want to imprison humanity. Whether it was contact with the Domain that maybe was corrupted by the Flood or something else entirely different, this story is bound to spawn a new wave of theories as well as providing closure on existing ones. It's also probably going to nullify half of my theory videos, but hey, that's what they're there for. Kind of. But either way, Frank O'Connor's story in this graphic novel should hopefully explain why Cortana suddenly became some fascist dictator of an AI. Seeing as there's also going to be a lot of talk about the domain in this story, I would not be surprised if Frankie goes into at least a little bit more detail surrounding the inner workings of the domain, and also, hopefully, how it survived and also repaired itself after the firing of the Halo Array. Also, seeing as Frank O'Connor is going to be the one to explain one of Halo 5's biggest criticisms in the form of Cortana dying in Halo 4 and then just suddenly reappearing in Halo 5, not another writer who shall not be named. The general reception of this story is likely to be very good, unless Frankie somehow drops the ball on it, which I severely doubt. There's going to be a lot more Halo news revealed at Comic-Con, but unfortunately for reasons that I'm not sure, the panels aren't live streamed and recordings of them aren't public until like a month later. So we have to unfortunately rely on information from people who are actually there via tweets, reddit posts, etc, etc. So that's all for this video guys. If you're as hyped as I am for Frankie's story, then please don't forget to leave a like and also tell me in the comments how you think this story is going to explain Cortana's transition from Halo 4 to Halo 5. This was just a sort of short little update video, not something that I regularly do, but I thought given that this topic was so important, I'd do a video on it, especially given the amount of theory videos that I've done on this topic in the past. Don't worry, the Atriox Didact video is going to be coming up on Monday, so look out for it, and I'll see you then.